All right, now I'm seeing ready. So let's get it. Skr skr. Skr skr. Let's get it. Let's get it. And my famous Dex voice. My classic Dex. Let's go. Man accused of raping a cow claims it is his. It is the reincarnation of his wife. Okay. That's that's what I ain't even got started yet. I ain't even got started yet. I ain't even got started yet. But I'm gonna say this. Okay. I'm going to say this. Should we now legalize bestiality? Because he feels that human souls reincarnate in animals. So it's okay to fuck an animal because it's really his wife. Huh? So, so, so if you, is it okay to feel that you a man? I mean that you a woman, but you really a man. If that's okay, is it okay for me to feel that my dead girlfriend or, or, or dead women have reincarnated into animals and that's why I want to fuck an animal. That's just that's just one simple dagger. I ain't even get to the I ain't even get to the juice yet. Huh? That's like me saying, Oh, I believe that my wife from, from two lifetimes ago reincarnated into my dog and I wanna fuck my dog because it's really my wife. Technically I would be right if we just going off feelings and not knowing. Huh? So, if it's not okay for this, I just want to know for all of the trannies out there. Is it okay for this man to have fucked that cow because he felt it was his wife? Because if that's not okay, how is it okay for you to 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 want to be identified as a woman when we clearly see you're a man, when you were born a man? That cow was born a cow. So, if you can acknowledge that that cow was born a cow and it wasn't a nigga wife, okay, it's not like that shit did some metamorphosis. Shit, and, and she transformed into a cow and she got superpower. That cow was born a cow. So if that cow was born a cow, and you think that that's wrong, how the fuck you think you not wrong when you was born a nigga? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. See, now we're going to get to the bag right now. I'm not going to play this whole clip. I'm going to just play some of it. Okay. Because a, a, a picture is worth a thousand words, okay? So if a picture is worth a thousand words, a video got to be worth more than that. Now, on that couch, I brought up a point when I said, if niggas start eating motherfuckers because they think that they tigers, okay, should it be legalized? Now, I remember that. I said that because I remember when I was a kid watching Ripley's Believe It or Not, and a nigga wanted to transform into a tiger. I fucked around and found the video. So now I'm going to introduce the video in my argument, okay? This argument is open for all transgenders to take part, okay? All trans, I'm inviting all, this is probably the only time I will invite a transgender on my shit to have a conversation with me. I'm inviting all transgenders now, whenever you want to have it, come on and address this motherfucking video. We can be civilized. We ain't got to be none of that crazy shit. You tell me. Okay, after I play this video, I'm going to make my disposition. I'm going to play this video for about two minutes straight. After I play this video, I'm going to give my disposition. Okay, and we're going to go from there. We're going to go from there. Let's go. We're going to go from there. Here we go. Now look. Look at this nigga. Okay? Now what you about to see is Fred Willard. Okay, this nigga believes that he's really a tiger. And he was born in the wrong body. And he has spent over $200,000 on surgery trying to become a tiger. The only difference between this nigga and a tranny, okay, is the tranny think it was born a, a woman in the wrong body. This nigga think he's a tiger in the wrong body, okay? Now, I'm going to play this video, then I'm going to present my argument, and then I'm going to invite any tranny who's in the building who want to come on. If you know a tranny, send them the video, okay? Send them to tell them to come on. Let's go. As in sneak up. Look at this nigga. Now I'm going to keep skipping through periodically so I don't get hit with copyright. I can walk with very little or no noise. Look at this nigga. We're in magazines uh, for the past six years. Do you remember the first time I met you? I, uh, you walked in the, the front door up there and uh, 
you startled me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. And I know you've broken every place since I've been here. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's what I want to catch. Somebody walking through that back room at 3 o'clock in the morning. The cat walks out and goes, ah! <laughs> Look at his name. I could sneak up on. Look at his name. Anyone. It's just one of those cat things. Dennis began turning himself into a tiger 20 years ago. See? So far undergoing 10 extreme body modification surgeries, which has cost him nearly $200,000. It's literally been everything I could afford since I started. While I was still in the Navy, I started the tattooing. We started off with the uh, eyebrow implants and the, uh, the bridge. Now let me, get to, let me get to the important part. The whiskers up there. I'm going to okay. eventually be putting uh, transdermal implants. Uh, so he got the whiskers surgically implanted. He got his teeth shaved down. He got his face tattooed to uh, mimic the designs of a tiger. But let's get to the important part. It's not just about the look. It's the lifestyle. See? Now look. He walk, Look, here we go. And like most cats, look. he's of course a carnivore. My diet is almost exclusively meat. The problem with that is going to a restaurant and getting it rare enough. Most restaurants have a problem with bringing out raw meat. But well, let's put it this way. Pause. See, that's the part. That's the point I wanted. That's the point I want. Somebody said body dysmorphia. I'm finna go in on that too. Because body dysmorphia, to the goddess who said that, Got body dysmorphia for those of you who out there and transgenders don't know that's considered a mental disorder okay now if you don't know what body dysmorphia is is when you obsessingly feel that it's something wrong with your body okay outside of its original state now let me say this right let me make my point he just said he believes he's a tiger so much in the sense that he tries to eat exclusively raw meat okay now why is this important they don't sell raw meat. Okay? I mean, excuse me, restaurants don't serve raw meat. So now, what would, what would happen if him and everybody else like him started a movement? Okay? Trying to petition uh, restaurants nationwide to either start serving raw meat or started to ask uh, morgues to donate uh, dead bodies so that they can eat the flesh because they think that they tigers. Huh? Now, if you don't approve it, I'm not talking to nobody. That's not talking specifically to the LGBTQ community and particularly the T's, the trannies. Okay? If it's not okay for this motherfucker to think he's a tiger, if it's not okay for this motherfucker to want to, raw, to, to, want to eat raw meat because he feels he's a tiger... And if you don't accept this motherfucker, okay, if he's not allowed to come outside and eat a motherfucker like Jeffrey Dahmer, okay, and when he get arrested, should his charges be dismissed because he believes he's a tiger? Should the judge say, oh, this nigga just, oh, that's Tiger Tim. That's Tiger Tom. He, oh, he eats motherfuckers. He's a tiger. We're not going to charge him with murder and cannibalism. So should he not be charged with murder and cannibalism? If he eat a motherfucker, he got his teeth razor sharp. So don't think he can't bite the shit out of a motherfucker. He will bite the shit out your ass. So if this nigga bite you in your motherfucking neck right here and fuck your whole motherfucking neck up, okay, and have you bleeding to death and he chew on your ass because he believe he a tiger, okay? Is that okay? I want a tranny to come on here and answer that. Please, if it's any trannies in the building or anybody who supports 